What's up, Chess Familia? Welcome back to the grind. Get playing as white today. We're gonna play the usual opening, London. Ah, this cheesiness. England Gambit. I'm obligated to take. Okay, let's see how this goes. This will either go very well or very poorly. <laughs> so I have to keep this pawn in mind here. Um, so I'm kind of okay just to let this pawn go. The big trap here is just not developing the dark scar bishop to f4. That's kind of the big idea here. I think the um, I actually think the real counterplay to this is something like queen d5. As crazy as that sounds. Yeah, so he's going to be looking for the check here. Mm. I know this might look a little bit goofy, but I think... What's the idea? I think you have to prevent the check with like either c3 or knight c3. Or plain just getting the knight out. Mm, yeah, this is a trap right here. England Gambit. I think I'm going to just play c3. If he wants to trade knights off, so be it. I'm just going to play c3 to avoid this ugly check here. This should actually let me play bishop f4. Yeah, I'll trade off. Yeah, that's why I think d5, queen d5 is actually the play there. As crazy as that is. Yeah, now I'm probably forced to play... Hmm. What I have to be careful of is that as soon as I move my light square bishop, he's going to want to attack g2. So that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, if I push e3, he'll probably play something like g5 to prevent my light square bishop from coming out. Well, no, I guess he can't really play g5. Yeah, but if I play e3, it blocks a dark square bishop in. That is the one problem. Maybe I try to get my knight onto like its natural square or something. To defend these two squares, e5 and g5. Yeah, I don't know the counterplay to the England Gambit, like, by heart. But if I remember it correctly from a very long time ago, I vaguely remember Queen d5 is a counterplay after he plays Knight c6. And I think it's for this exact same reason, for this exact reason, so he can't get his queen out onto e5. And it sort of just gets the queen out as well. Then you kind of have to deal with like the early pressures of the pawn pushes and stuff like that. Yeah, I think knight f3 has to be played here. I feel like I did kind of ruin his whole gambit plan here by pushing c3. So that's a plus. Only downside here is just it's going to take me a while to castle. Yeah, okay. So.
I see he's looking for the check. I think what he's trying to do is to sort of sack and remove the defender uh, from the queen. I think that's what's going on here. Um, I think he's trying to sack. I'm almost tempted to play like e3 at this point, just so he can't sack his dark square bishop here. I'm actually just going to play that. I don't know if he has the line set up exactly correct to sack the bishop, the king takes, and then the queen takes. I think the idea with that is that you have to have an open d file for that to happen. But in either case, like e3 is kind of a natural move for like the London system anyway, but I think we're kind of beyond the Lon London system. I think my next play is going to be knight f3 and then i can get the light square bishop out and then um castle i think this is a fine move just attacking his queen he'll yeah i mean he can't go to g5 so he can't really attack i guess he could go something like f5 but even then that'll just i think that'll give me yeah time to make um the bishop e2 move Yeah, the diagonal to his king is open right now. I don't know if I can take advantage of that in any way, but... Hmm. I'd be pretty sick if I had a check somewhere. I don't think I do, though. I'm pretty sure I can just play e2... I'm pretty sure I can play bishop e2. Let me think. I have to be careful, though. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to try to, like, castle the other way since he's kind of launching everything towards the king side here. I don't know if it's a big deal or not, but... I'm just going to go for it. I have to be really careful here. I don't have a defender on g2. I honestly think he might do something crazy like this, just judging by how he's playing so far. I think he might just sack his bishop on h3. What do you guys think? Who's in a better position here? Me or him? I want to say I'm in a better position. He still has two of his pieces undeveloped. He has an open king. Well, somewhat open. And I'm about to castle. I don't know. Maybe I need to start harassing his other pieces here, like his bishop. Interesting move there. 
I'm just gonna castle. I like this knight on f3. It's protecting this really important g5 square so he can't pin the g pawn. So he can't do any of this cheesiness here. Only downside is, is that this knight is kind of relying on the light square bishop to protect it here. I think my next move is going to be to sort of threaten his dark square bishop here and maybe trying to open up the center a little bit. I have to get the dark square bishop developed, so... Looks like he's going for the early check here. Or he's trying to just find mate. Honestly, even if he does that, I can just trade off. But I'm kind of tempted to just push up anyway. I would actually love to... Let's see, boom, boom. And his queen's attacked. I wonder if I just let him go for this. I still have the check, but his pawn's gonna protect there. Wonder if I just go attack his light square bishop here. This is kind of a double attack, right? But this knight's uh, defending this kind of important square here. Yeah, so if I go attack, I just lose. So actually, I can't do that. Could always just push a pawn up. I think if I push up, I honestly think he would sack. So, I don't know. I have to go make, like, some advances somewhere else. I mean, the queen is not actively doing anything. Maybe I should move my rook up to protect this bishop. If he does sack his bishop here, the bishop's not hanging. I'm actually just going to do that. I think my next move will be queen b3. And just trying to apply some pressure to his queen side. The knight's defending h2, so I, I can't get rid of that. Maybe I just need to push h3 at this point. Man, he's like fully committed to making this king, uh, kingside attack work. I have to go harass him from the other side, I feel like. I honestly feel like if I if I push up, he's gonna sack. He's gonna sack the bishop, which might be a good thing. I guess if I push up h3, it'll allow the knight to go attack something else. Uh, I'm just going to go be aggressive on his side of the board. I think what he's looking to do is jump to a g4 with his knight to basically add um, a third attacker to h2. I think if he does do that, maybe I should have um, pushed up here at this point. Yeah. Maybe castle and queen side was the play here. I think he has to push this pawn up or just defend with the rook here.
wonder if g3 is even a move here. Yeah, maybe g3 is actually better. Maybe g3 so blocks his dark square bishop from attacking h2. And then if his light square bishop tries to do something. Hmm. I think this is actually the move. This pawn is not a threat. This bishop is a bigger threat. So... Yeah, so if I go d4, he'll probably play g5. And at that point, the g pawn will be pinned. He'll probably be looking for the sack here. Or not the sack, but sort of a h3. Oh, right, right, right. But no, I can't do that because he has the bishop attacking here, right? So I have to push either g3 or h3 here. I think g3 is going to be a better move, just so in case he goes to g5, it'll be defended, and then I won't be too worried about it, and then I can move the knight. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to play g3 here. And then I want to move my knight and attack his light square bishop. Yeah, I do like knight d4. It will attack his bishop, so... I think he'll most likely play... Yeah, the bishop's going to be under attack, so I don't think he's going to be able to use his queen to protect it. Uh, Probably e5. Queen e5 will be his best move if I go knight d4. So then that way, if I take... He just recaptures with his queen instead of the pawn. That's my guess. Also, this dark square bishop is just really inactive. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer. I just haven't been able to find a good time to activate it. Unfortunately, maybe I should have attacked his dark, dark square bishop earlier. Well, he's just as frazzled as I am, so... Let's look at the board from his perspective. What's the best thing that he could play? I honestly feel like at this point for him, just sacking a bishop is like the best thing to do. <laughs> just considering like how much forces he has like hurling this way. <laughs> no, actually, what, what would I play though if I was him? So if I'm trying to stop this knight move here. Okay, I see. Well, so he actually finds a pretty good move here, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that is pretty good, so we would just trade off there. That is actually not bad. Yeah, so the problem here is that um, I'm going to be losing a bishop uh if i 
if I move the knight. No, I'm actually going to be losing a rook, right? Because if I... If I move this trade, the rook will be defending the bishop. He'll just take with his queen. And then nothing will be protecting uh, e2. So I'm almost tempted to just like move the... Move this back. Okay. That was a decent move by him. I don't want to lose the rook here. I'm just going to defend this bishop. That's fine. He's probably going to move his knight around, I bet. Did I just lose a piece out of that? No, oh, I miscalculated that. Whoops. I seriously miscalculated that. Whoopsies. <laughs> uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, bummer deal. Miscalculated that. That nah, sucks. Oh well, what can you do? Okay. Well, we're going to have to find something very sneaky to find a win here. <laughs> a good start is probably to develop the bishop. I want to try to scope his knight uh, with a dark square bishop. That would be like my 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 dream. I'm gonna start off by doing this. Man, I can't believe I miscalculated that. That was so simple. Yeah, that was such a simple miscalculation. Oh, well. Honestly, this might be a win on time kind of game. Uh, I guess what sucks about taking the bishop... Uh, taking the bishop with the... Or taking the knight with the bishop is that his queen just recaptures. I think I just have to add a defender. Add a defender to f2 at this point. I'd rather not trade off queens. Right? So let's see. Can't go here. Yeah, I don't want to lose my queen in this exchange here, so I'm just going to defend with the rook.
The good thing about my position right now is that all my pawns are on dark squares, and he has a dark square bishop, so he's going to have a hard time breaking through these pawns. I see. It's a bit annoying. Probably add a defender this way. Uh, seems okay. Moves his knight. I think he's going to be looking for the mate. The mate on h3. Yeah, because he has <clears throat> this move here. And then my queen is trapped. Hmm. How do I stop that? It's really annoying. I feel like I'm going to have to push up the pawn here so I can slide over to... No, but even that loses because then he just goes... Yeah, I think I have to play this. As frustrating as that is. I don't think there's any way around it. Yeah, he's got the check and then my king is stuck. I think I have to play h4 here h4 so my queen can at least go to h2 and then let's see he takes a bishop it's check i can take the pawn uh he can't take the rook and that, that'll actually be good because that exposes the rook to his queen i think this has to be played i don't think there's any way around it i was expecting that no, I actually wasn't expecting that, and I'll be honest. Yeah, he'll probably just win here. I mean, his knight is under attack. I think he has to go protect his knight. <clears throat> yeah, he has to protect his knight. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Could try to attack his queen. I feel like this is kind of risky. Playing pawn f3. I think if I play pawn f3, I just lose. Because then he just gets mate. Hmm. 
I just wish I had a good way to trade queens off here. Maybe I have to activate this rook. I want to push this pawn, but this trade just seems useless. Yeah, I don't know. I have to play like much faster here. My queen's just in a really bad spot. I wish I could try like trading off some pieces here. I have to protect this pawn. Can't really put my queen on e2. Can't really put my queen on e4. Yeah, I just don't have a awesome place to like put my queen. It'd be kind of funny if this came down to time. I want him to push this pawn so I can open up. Interesting. So I do win a pawn this way. I do take a pawn this way too. I think if he's willing to give that up, something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Why would he want to give that up? What's the point of that? I'm missing something here. Why would he want to open up his king like that? Why would he want to give me that pawn? Why though? I don't understand this move. Moves his queen? I don't follow this move. He can't put his queen there, so I don't really understand. I'm just going to take it. <clears throat> Whatever, it's fair trade. I'm going to attack his pawn next if he retakes that. Is he just trying to like... Go for something like this? I think he's looking for the check here. Yeah, I know how to look for the check, but I mean, I can just, I can run away. Oh, I see. He'll probably put his queen here. Okay. I see, I see. Maybe I should try to get my rook out on the H file so I can just look for this sneaky maiden one if he moves. I actually don't think this knight move is all that great. I'm being honest. Ah, uh, he just wins. Ah, that's frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, he basically just won. Yeah, that's that's a really good move. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, he wins. My king is stuck. Yeah, GG. Yeah. 
Uh, nice game, nice game. Very sneaky player. I made two blunders there. I guess taking was a blunder. Uh, pushing at this point was the idea. Oh, sure, going for the fork on those pieces. Yeah. Queen C2. Yeah, I misplayed that. Uh, I misplayed Queen C2. I thought, and this is just my miscalculating brain, I thought we would start trading off on E2, so I wanted to protect this way. Um, but what I needed to do was just add another defender to F3, so that's just kind of a, a big dumb play. Um, so I think the position would have still been pretty even in this case. Looks like, well, yeah, I would have came out on top. Yeah, so really this game came down to... Uh, just making one bad move, one miscalculation. Yeah, D2. Or D1, excuse me. Otherwise, let me look at the opening. I think I played the opening okay. I want to see something. I want to see what the engine says about D5. D5, it says D5 is okay. Really? I think taking the bishop out here is like, the trap, isn't it? Yeah, isn't this the trap? <laughs> Where everyone gets themselves into trouble? Yeah, I was trying to avoid that. Oh, sure. So pushing g3 so I can get my light square bishop out without having to worry about him. Got it. I'm sure just move the knight and attack his queen. Sure. I knew one of these pawns had to get pushed, h3 or g3. It looks like I ended up pushing kind of the wrong pawn this game. That probably cost me. Yeah, this one queen move is where everything fell apart. Uh, just a bad miscalculation. I, I just wasn't able to come back from this position here, unfortunately. Yeah, that was a forced move. I should have pushed the pawns up. Yeah. Yeah, this rook was just going to be too inactive. These were the big threats, and I wasn't... I wasn't working on getting those threats. So, a bit of a bummer. Yeah, this was just the wrong move. I couldn't quite figure out why he pushed g5, but now it makes sense. It's basically just to open up the file here. This pawn wasn't going to cause any threats. Feels bad. I wonder. wonder if I would have went h1 here. This is even worse. That was a really good move by him. wonder if I went h1. That's a blunder too, huh? This is this so bad? I guess this just... Uh, this just loses on here, right? Doesn't it? Yeah. Threatens to force eventual checkmate. Yes, there was basically one move that I could play. There was one move that I could play here, and unfortunately I wasn't able to find it, so it's a bummer. Doesn't he still win, though? Oh, he doesn't, right. Ah, so there was still some hope there. Yeah, okay. So basically two bad moves. I shouldn't have ignored these threats here. I had the pawns to give up, so yeah. I think it's just a bad habit of mine is that I want to keep these king's pawns as intact as possible, and I'm just really hesitant to push them up when the king, especially when the king is so exposed. So it's just something I need to get better at, but 
Oh well, GG. I guess I'm gonna be hard stuck 8.30 for a while. I've been teeter-tottering on this ELO for quite some time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, GG Kutral22 from India. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.